good. One more time right here. Up here at the base of that skull, C1, C2. Beautiful. Hey guys, Dr. Mike here, Oak Brook Medical Group in Oak Brook, Illinois, and I want to talk to you today a little bit about headaches. We've been getting a lot of questions lately about headaches, uh, migraines, things like that, specifically more so of why do we get them? What's the reason for them? And the reality is there's a lot of reasons, right? It could be everything from tight muscles in the neck and the upper back. It could be a hormone imbalance. It could be dehydration, and they could be self-induced, right? You could get a headache just from having a good time with your friends the night before. But again, lots of reasons. Now, the main reason we see headaches in the clinic here um, is a lot of more postural type things in the tight muscles. So we always end up taking x-rays on our patients, ideally, because especially for headaches, we want to take a look at the neck and see exactly what's going on. So when we look at somebody's neck from the side, skull sitting up here, patients looking that way, we should see a smooth 35 to 45 degree curve. What happens is because we go through life right now and we're all on our phones like this, or we're working on the computer and the head comes forward like that, instead of having that good curve, what we see is a loss of curve where now things straighten out and that head has moved forward. It's called forward head posture. So what happens when that situation occurs is you've got these trapezius muscles, real big muscles up here in the neck. They're actually large enough that they attach into the back of the head, out here into the shoulder, and then all the way down to the mid-back right here. So like I said, they're large muscles. So as that head comes forward, those traps fire and they get really, really tight because they're trying to pull the ears back over the shoulders. Well, if those are connecting up into the back of the head, you can see how that would create a lot of tension up there and it can cause headaches and migraines for people. So again, let's look at it real time here. If we look at a perfect cervical curve, so this is the patient from the side, they're looking this way we should see a nice, smooth 35 to 45 degree curve. I want to see big, open, dark disc spaces and then perfectly squared off bones, right? Ears are over the shoulder, everything's lined up. That's the ideal. This is Genesis, <laughs> Hi. right? So Genesis is one of the rehab techs here in the office. Uh, when she started working for us, she actually was telling us that she was getting a lot of headaches, a lot of migraines. Um, how often were the migraines? They were like a few times a month, lasting for like a couple days. Okay, so a few times a month, lasting a couple days. And if you guys experience migraines, you know anybody that's experienced them, you can tell, I mean, it knocks you out, right? So imagine having a migraine for a couple days and you just got to sit in that dark room, keep it quiet, you know, and try to relax as much as you can. So one of the first things we did with Genesis is we took an x-ray. And this is what we saw. So again, looking at her from the side, you can tell she's looking this way. That neck is perfectly straight. So her head is forward out here. And one of the other things we need to point out, I wasn't talking fast enough for you guys. We lost our, our picture here. This is how you know it's all real time, right? We gotta have fun with this. Um, so she's completely lost that curve in her neck. Now she does have good disc space and everything looks okay there. But there's one other thing that we looked for. And if we go back to the normal to point out, this C1 right here is the very top bone in the neck. You can see skull sits here. See how big and open those spaces are? So the brain stem sits down in here. Lots of nerves and blood vessels that come out of there and wrap up into the head. So if we go back to Miss Genesis, this is her C1 up here. You can see she's so jammed up that you almost can't see it there. There's zero space at all. So again, if all these nerves and blood vessels are trying to have freedom and come out of there and wrap up into the head and it's that jammed and locked up in there, we can tell that's why we're getting a lot of headaches and migraines, okay? So obviously we took those x-rays from her. We started working with her um, while she was in. We were getting it adjusted. She's done great with her exercises. She does great with her cervical traction, which basically is just to help reintroduce that curve into the neck. Um, we've been here about 90 days now. Yeah. How are the migraines doing? I don't get them anymore. <laughs> you don't get them anymore, no. right? Which is actually really cool because I didn't know that until I talked with her about doing this video. And she's like, but I don't have headaches anymore. I was like, you what? Um, so that's awesome, right? And you gotta remember, it's working with her, we do things as much as we can while she's working with our patients. So those are the results we always wanna see for our patients as well. So what we're gonna do for you guys um, is we're gonna actually head out there and I'm gonna walk you through how I adjust her upper back, 
right at the lower part of the neck and then that neck as well. All right, let's go on out. All right, guys, here we go. So we walked through what those x-rays look like. We talked about Miss Genesis, and now you're going to see how she gets adjusted. So face up for me, please. Um, so remember, when getting adjusted for especially headaches and migraines specifically, we talked about those trap muscles that come all the way down into that back. So we're always going to look at that upper back as well, the thoracic spine. So with Genesis, we do what's called an anterior or a bear hug. Good. One more time right here. Oh, look at you today. Good work. <laughs> All right. Relax those arms. And then my hands are cold. I apologize. That's okay. All right. Starting right up here at the base of that skull. C1, C2. Beautiful. One more time. Lower. Easy day. Come on up. She makes it easy for me, so I don't have to work too hard. <laughs> um, but, so now you guys have a little more information about those headaches. So if you're dealing with any type of headaches or migraines, or you know anybody that is, call us at that number below. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that notification bell, like, follow the page, Facebook, Instagram, like and follow, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.